Most printers come with a more or less warped bed. This problem is often requiring a very precise tuning of the bed, trimming, or the addition of an extra build surface like glass. In this video, I'm going to show you a hassle-free solution that does not require any extra hardware. Check it out! Like most budget printers, my Ender 3 came out of the factory with a slightly warped bed. This has been okay for most of my prints, since I usually print parts with small bases and I move the models close to one of the corners to get the best alignment. If they are close to the leveling knob, it is easier to get the leveling done in a good way. I learned this the hard way with my very first printer that had a very poor Z-axis, an M8 screw which made the first layer very difficult to get. This time I worked this round with a dirty trick. I have applied tape beneath my build surface when it was shallower. It took me a while of trial and error and in the end it worked quite okay. But I never settled for quite okay and I worked to get the best. And this is why I made this video. So I remember when I was in my first job in a machining shop. We had a drumming problem on a seasoned flat disc grinder and after tearing it apart and putting it back together, the workshop foreman took a drastic decision. He set the grinding disc in motion and he ground the magnetic base of the machine flat. Not much, just a few tenths of a millimeter, but that was all that was needed. This obviously made it perfectly square to the tool. And so I thought, why not doing the same with a 3D printer? Obviously I cannot grind a plate, but I can build a perfectly square surface instead. So I went back to my trusty drawing board and I have designed a surface that will make the best use of the additive technology. I decided for a honeycomb structure that will be stiff enough to support my build surface, but slim enough to use the least amount of material. So I came out of this. Quoting from the source of all knowledge, Wikipedia, from ease honeycombs to the giant's causeway, hexagonal patterns are prevalent in nature due to their efficiency. In an hexagonal grid, each line is as short as it can possibly be if a large area is to be filled with the fewest hexagons. This means that honeycombs require less walks to construct and gain lots of strength under compression. I've left a few empty spaces where I'm going to glue some spare magnets I have lying around so that I can get rid of the clips to keep the steel sheet in place. I made 0.8mm wall thickness to have two passes for each and 1.2mm height that is required by the thickness of my magnets. I'm sure much less will still do the trick. Think is done, design it, it's done, let's make!
And this is my contribution to the thousands of ideas with different degrees of success to one of the most common 3D printer pain points. I hope they find the solution as useful as I did. I've just printed a few prints after the mod. I hope it will be reliable in the long run. I decided to go for PLA. If you often print PETG or ABS, you may consider using that as well to avoid the material to get soft under the high bad temperatures that you will need. I will update you in case something changes. If you like what you saw and want to see more, smash the subscribe button with all your might. And don't forget to ring the bell as well if you want to be notified of my next video. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.